This is David Wartowski from Potomac Airfield. I'd like to discuss briefly with you the process for applying for clearance into the FRZ airspace through Potomac Airfield. You're being asked to apply for what amounts to an interagency airspace security clearance light. Once you're cleared through that process, you're then given some close hold codes and special procedures that you'll use before entering the airspace, either from the ground, from an airport or anywhere else, or as the Air Force would say, crossing the fence inbound. You start your application at the Potomac Airfield website for operations in or at or through Potomac Airfield. The website is www.potomac-airfield.com. Your first step is you'll fill out that online account with us and that will create the connection necessary by which we then coordinate the clearance process through to the end. Once that process has been completed, it takes approximately a week or two and then you'll be contacted with the information you need. So first step is go to www.potomac-airfield.com and click on the link that says apply for access. Fill out that information after you've accepted the terms and various thinly veiled threats. It will then download to you approximately five pages of documents. Those documents include various maps and instructions about what to do and they will include the following set up an account with NATA, which is a fingerprint collector for the FBI and others. NATA will in turn download their fingerprint control forms to you, which you take with you to either Potomac Airfield, right here where we can do the fingerprints in the pilot shop, or to the National Airport Security Office, where they can also do the fingerprints. They bring two government issued IDs. Once the fingerprints are done, make sure that you have mailed the fingerprint control forms back to NATA. Those fingerprint control forms create the chain of title that connect the fingerprints to actual databases. In addition, you no longer have to go to the FISDO. The only thing that you need to do is to complete the FAA's SFAR online training. TSA will access the FAA's online database internally, so you no longer need to go out. If you're a student pilot, a student pilot medical qualifies and will put you in the FAA system. Make sure you get your student medical first to wrap up, simply follow instructions. Fax the package to TSA, including the TSA's form, signed, which gives them authority to process, the SFRA completion certificate, your pilot's license, a driver's license with matching address, and evidence of an FAA medical. You'll find out it's a very straightforward process once you understand. One thing I would like to clarify is that fingerprints are used forensically to identify crime scenes, associations, and movements. They're also used to identify pre-existing trusted clearances. The point of all of that is that if you have a TS, SCI, or other security clearances, you get to do the fingerprints all over again. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm David Wartowski. My phone number is 301-248-5720, and my email is bigcheese at potomac-airfield.com. That's bigcheese at potomac hyphen airfield.com if you just follow the instructions everything will be fine trust me